the sound of the police! Stop right there, criminal scum! Don't, don't do it! Can you believe these cops? Yeah, that's enough, buddy. Get into the vehicle, and then they just, apparently they, they put a hood over your head, and they kick you out as the car is still moving. It's like, this is your new home. It's like, well, what have you done? You, you literally have kidnapped me. Yeah, all right, everybody. It's time for a little blast from the past. As we are here checking out the latest, biggest update to change a homeless survival experience. And that's exactly what this game is. It is a homeless survival game. It's something we have covered in the past before. I'm not sure if we ever came back to check it out when it hit 1.0. But today we are checking that out along with... 2.0. The biggest update yet. New restaurant building. Some new characters in the streets. Big shelter update. With new shelter conditions. New paperwork stat added. Give it more complexity and options for eventually renting. And loads of fixes and other improvements. So I figure, you know, it's been a very long time since we actually checked this out. I'd like to see it in this complete product, so let's find out. Now, we have been victorious in the past, but um, now there's different ways to achieve victory, to my knowledge. Like before, it was just a matter of, like, you know, renting a home, and that was basically it. Now I think it's really gone further into it. So there's a bunch of new mechanics and everything. Now what? Hey, you new out here? Sure, let me walk away from you. Is this your first time playing? Nope. Hope you can survive the winter. Yeah. You and me both, huh? Now we got, um... Stranger on the streets. So you're not the only one who's down there on the luck, huh? We can talk or give him a dollar. I think if we start basically making friends with the homeless, we could probably get some nice little perks and maybe even open up some branching paths later. So let's go ahead and give him a dollar. I'm waiting for that cop to get off the screen because obviously cops will give you warnings if you're begging in front of them. And right now we want to do a little bit of begging. No problem, buddy. I need help? No, sorry. Well, at least he gave me a response, which is actually nice of you. You didn't just walk by. You didn't just walk by like some rude people out there. Sorry to bother you. Yeah, like that. Pay phones, huh? How about that? Check for change. Nothing there. It was worth a try. Can you help me? Sure, get some time inside out of this weather. Hey, thanks, buddy. And here we go. Ah! Policeman, you were so off the screen, though. Get out of here. I'm giving you a warning, no begging. That's what I told you guys about. Oh, he was so off the screen. Like, he was literally showing up just now. Trash can, nothing in there. Which does make our hygiene go down. Obviously, we're dumpster diving. Makes sense, but, you know, still gotta try it. Juice we could buy for 99 cents. It restores one happiness point. For now, I'm gonna have to pass on that. Have I begged from you? Hey, buddy. Just a little change, maybe? Increase happiness gains from a successful begging when happiness is less than 50. Mm. So that's a good way to get our happiness up whenever um, we actually get one that goes through. Emotional wall. Lose less happiness when people are unkind. That's actually a really good one because people are mean to us more often than not and deprived. When offered food, small chance of also getting change as well as anyway. I think I'm gonna go with this one. That way we could take more chances at begging without necessarily- Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, this guy is out there on the side of the screen with a telescope like, Oh, he's begging, let's get him right now! Found at least some trash. I can't carry any more scrap. Okay, so now we gotta definitely find ourselves a recycling center. Ooh, that's a new NPC. I've never seen that one before. Alright, here's a recycling center. Right, hold on. Let's sell off what we got here first. 25 pieces, 175? Oof. But I'm- I'm starving now. Here's a store. Let's buy something. We have to buy something. Ooh, what is this? Fingerless gloves, of course. <laughs> it reminds me of, um, old your boy Falcon in high school. Oh, he was such an edge lord. Fingerless gloves. Increased steal success rate. Now, this is actually kind of a good one, man. Could you imagine stealing the fingerless gloves to give you a higher success rate? So our chance to steal right now would be 9%, which is obviously terrible. But buying this could be good in the future. I mean, the thing is that the, every day, the store refreshes their stock, so this probably won't be here right now. Obviously, we need food above all else, but this is something that if I had, if my food meter wasn't so bad right now, I'd definitely spend for that. And we go into like a steal nothing type of route, which could get us in jail, but hey. Let's see if we can hopefully cover some ground, get some scrap, at least pay for itself. Ooh, street vendor. Yo, all right. Yeah, yeah let's definitely get like one, two. Now, in the shelter, there's a good chance they'll feed us, so... It's pretty good. There's a chance. I mean, it's not a 100% guarantee, but there is a chance. We could also sell some stuff here, and we could also clean up over here. Scavenging perk has now risen. Perfect. 
Uh, precise picker. Significantly reduce hygiene loss when searching trash. I like that. Totter. Increase scrap value, but, may, but max scrap you can carry is reduced. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Kind of like that. Gain a cash bonus when you turn in max scrap. So I gotta hit 25 every single time. It's not a bad one, I don't think. I think I like this one a bit more. Yeah. We just gotta make sure that we're hitting that max cap. Okay, we gotta also go. We gotta go. Um, let's hold on to our trash. Let's make sure we set only where it's maxed out. I think for, um, by the way, I'm sure you've seen a dog running by. You can actually get a dog in this game. Which is so much fun. Um, but I think it only triggers if you sleep outside. Like, the chance for the event to trigger. It's not 100% guarantee. It's just a chance it'll probably trigger. I, I can't stay here tonight. The curfew was 8. It's 8.18. Can you imagine? Oh, I'm sorry. You're 18 minutes past the thing. You gotta leave now. That's what it sticks! Well, another day is over. It's all gone. The life you once had, as hard as it was, you missed a lot of it. Having a room, a sink, a toilet, people who could love you. It's all gone. All your regret comes flooding in at once and you suddenly realize that for the first time in your life, you have nowhere to sleep tonight. Your eyes search for somewhere out of the wind and you settle on a deep doorway in an abandoned building. It doesn't help much. Well, that was a very terrible first night for us. But let's see about staying close to here so we could probably establish this residency. Street savvy. More choices for future perks. Okay. Better encounter in the park. And better prices from street vendors. I like the, you know, I like having more options, definitely. Because it might proc some good stuff. But um, right now, I think we need to uh, get some better prices. Let's dig in here. I'm going to eat that piece of crust. It's going to probably make me sick, but you know what? It's food. Yuck, that was nasty. Yep, we have become ill. As expected. Okay, so let's make sure that we don't forget where that shelter is. I, I probably will more than likely, but hey. Now, scrap here. Speaking of scrap. Uh, two more, and then we can sell off and get a little bit of extra. So one, two, we got it. Let's go sell it off, which I know it's going to be right back through here. If I can handle a quick little beg. Our hygiene could also affect our begging, by the way, so we definitely want to make sure we wash up and we don't stank. We got a bonus of 35. Beggars can't be choosers, Falcon. I mean, quite literally, yes, I understand what you're saying, but I was, was hoping for a little bit more, you know? This little change. I'm sick. I need a piece of crust and it's, it's making me very ill. Please. At least give me an answer. Wow. How's it going here, buddy? Ooh, yo, check this out. I give, oh. I mean, if we could find a place for this, we could... Time, why is, why is time running? I, I thought you're supposed to run when I'm in NPC encounters. So it doesn't stop for the beggar, but it stops for the vendors. Interesting. It should stop for everything, really. But if we could find some booze for that, dude, apparently it would give us three bars, which would be amazing. I'll, I'll eat, yeah, I'll eat it. What is it? A whole sausage roll? Eat it. I'm already sick anyway. Little old lady, can you help me out? You're a new NPC, I've never seen you before. Any cash? Oh, I'm starving already? You know what it is, so I just realized because we're sick, it's making us actually go through our hunger a lot faster than usual. Another water bottle, I don't need that. Food? No, 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 don't, don't, don't run rest. Okay. Laundry. Probably clean up ourselves here. Oh, what do we got? Plain bread? Ooh, a hundred hunger, one happiness. Oh, yo, yo, beer! Um, we can make that trade happen. I need food now, though, is the problem. So, beer's gonna be 279. Those energy bars were 109 each, right? So, eh, when you think about it, you can almost just buy three energy bars, and, like, you know, it's probably gonna cost us, like, what, maybe 40 or 50 more cents when you multiply everything, you know? So, is it really, really worth it? Plus, we gotta walk all the way over there and do the trade. Nah, dog, I think you just, right now, you just buy this. I know it's a high price and everything, but at least it keeps the starvation issue out of the way for a while. Which we definitely do need. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Check for change. Nothing there. Leave. Um, please. Any change? I need to go wash up. These people probably hate my smell right now. It's not like I could help it, guys. I live in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Any spare cash? Nothing on me right now. I'm sorry. Are you sure about that? What if I shake you down and start going through your pockets? Well, I find nothing, really. I don't have any change. What about you? I need to buy food. It's for food, not for drugs. You understand? 
I'm trying to survive out here in a harsh life. The cops hate me severely. You gonna give me the ellipsis? Well, we got Smooth Talker. Significantly increased begging success. With full hygiene. <laughs> uh, significantly increased begging success in bad weather. Low hygiene has less effect. That's what we need. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police! Stop right there, criminal scum! Don't, don't do it! Can you believe these cops? Yeah, that's enough, buddy. Get into the vehicle, and then they just, apparently they, they put a hood over your head, and they kick you out as the car is still moving. It's like, this is your new home. It's like, well, what have you done? You you literally have kicked at me, police officer. You know what sucks now? Um, We've lost residency, because I don't know where that place is going to be at. No idea where it's at for now. It's not like I have a map. I think there might be a map icon, so, or at least like a map item. Okay. It's about to end. Ugh, okay, okay. So look, look, it's fine. I know, I know you hate me for, for unfortunately trying to survive, but you know, some of us don't have it as easy as you do, ma'am. I need to find a shelter, quick. Somewhere that actually let me stay. Please. Please, I gotta get there before 8 o'clock too. I thought 9 was the, the, the deadline. No, I wasn't trying to beg. I wasn't trying to beg, I just wanted to pick this up as I was moving. Please, shelter. Oh, come on. Oh, please. Don't do me this way. We're not gonna make it. Oh, another night in this- Oh, the shelter's right here as well! Curfew is 628? I can't believe you've done this. Any spare change? Thank you. Appreciate it. This is the time, boys. Ah! Did you see him? Did you see him? But you weren't even on the screen. You came out of the screen like you were freaking Sonic. I hate this guy. I'm not sure why he's had a vendetta against me. Like, he woke up today and he's like, you know what I'm gonna do? Today I'm gonna make life living hell for a homeless person. Oh yeah, big tough guy. Big tough cop. You have a lot going on in your life, that's what you woke up thinking. Oh, today's the day. Oh, that beggar. Oh, he's gonna get it. Uh, we're up to 811 though. I'm not even sure where that happened, but... <laughs> kinda glad it did. Um, do you sell another one of these things, by the way? You do. You do. I'm gonna have that in my pocket just so we're not worried about food. Down the line. Oh, there's a cop right there. You saw how he... I was about to ask the poor lady right now for a little bit of help. And homeboy was just like, I got you. He's gonna do it. This is where we send them to another area. And remove his residency. I'm worried about begging, dude. Like, every single time I do it, like, now they're just showing up and I really want to get this residency here. Make a call? No. Check for change. I'm curious as to who we could eventually call. That's going to be a pretty interesting mechanic. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just paranoid about begging right now. It's just like, I really want to... Oh, we said 4.30, right? Ooh, somebody dropped some change in there. Perfect. Not sure how much it was dropped, but hey. Nothing in there. Leap. About in there. Had a little bit of peril. No cop. No cop. Back right now. It's a little change. Please. Is it the smell? Okay. Any cops? No cops? Ask. I'm not like, you know, just... Uh, you seem okay to meet. I need it for my family. Is that a logical excuse? Oh, I have a little here. Thank you. Appreciate it. This seems like the better place. I mean, number one, we'll probably get some food stamps today if we stay here. But, 8.30 curfew. I mean, remember that 628 curfew? That's that's very early. So you know what? Forget that place. This is the place. 830. That's what we're looking for. You see, you know how it is with me. I get stuck places everywhere. So this gives us a chance to actually make it. So this will be the place. Now, you know what would make this place even better? Uh, number one, if I could find a place to clean up here a little bit. Um, we do have food, right? We have a, a food. We have a food thing stored up. So once it hits around 15, we could definitely take that. And we also need two more garbage so we can get max sales here and by max I mean what 35 is more cents but I had something let's do it now and collect this okay oh hey picking up scrap decreases hygiene by one and scrap value greatly increased I like that additional scrap appears around trash cans every day and small chance of finding additional change when searching trash I like this one though I definitely like that um we could definitely have our food no no not just not just here. Check tomorrow um, we need to find maybe a library too, hopefully. Hey, we got lucky. We found an unspoiled snack. Um, so my studying is going down because I'm a very... I mean, like, I got bigger things to worry about right now than studying. Like, you know, I'm not... I don't want to go back to school, right? I'm living the street. Maybe because maybe I wasn't such a good student. I wasn't paying too much attention. This is the outcome of that. Sure. But I mean, like, it's kind of very harsh to be like, Oh, I remember because you didn't go to school. This is the reason why you live here. And now you're forcing me to go to the school to study. Like, could you imagine? purest form of irony right now happening in front of us. Okay. 
Well, look, we know the shelter's off to the right. If we can just find ourselves a freaking library somewhere, we can hope to stave off this decay to some degree. There as well. Begging right now. Any spare change, please? No? No cops? Any spare change? Ellipsis? Is that good ellipsis or bad ellipsis? I guess it was a bad one. Can you spare anything? Please, somebody spare something. Look at how many people are here together. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, that was a good come up. And we got a new perk. Significantly increased begging success if happiness is greater than 90. Eh, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Increased chance of happiness from kindness. In increased chance of happiness from kindness. People may offer you better items. Yes. Give me that charm, boys. Um, I don't know. Oh, this is a place to wash up. I mean, sure. Cool. Uh, I'm not leaving an area here, am I? Wait for, wait for day labor. Wait here for passing vehicles to offer a day of work. Day of labor can be risky and others may compete for the same work. I mean, I'm not going to do it right now, but it's something I definitely want to keep my eyes open on. I don't want to get stave off too far from here. Like, I just really want to find this library. And I can start booking it back to the shelter for the night. But apparently it's not it's not going down. This is the park. That's where other hobos are at. But right now I just really want to take care of this library situation bus service. Oh hey. I mean, I would do this. The problem is, um I then wouldn't know how to get back to the shelter. At least here I don't know if I keep going right. It's the one with the little icon thing. Two hours. Come on, come on, come on, please. I'm so glad this place is 8.30, man. Could you imagine the 628 one again? Never gonna happen. I mean, it's not gonna happen right now, is it? Please. Please don't, don't do me dirty. Oh, there it is. Oh, thank you. Oh, I was gonna say, like, really? Again? Again, he can't make it to a shelter. Let's find out if um, it changes day to day. Like, the, the reward for residency. The shelter is just as you expected it would be, though as you delve deeper, it's quite a bit worse. There's a lingering smell of urine and body odor that hits you first, but you're not sure if it's coming from the stained carpets or the people or both. Beds are packed into rooms and corridors filled with other lost people, all seemingly either broken or dangerous. After the lights dim, all is silent. This is really it. This is where you live now, at least tonight. One of the others starts to weep, and after a while, so do you. Okay. Now, here is going to be the kicker. Cigarettes! Oh my god, I keep getting lucky. But I, I'm Here's the kicker. Travel to a nearby building in this area. Or move to a new area altogether. I am going to go right now to the library. To get rid of this brain rod. And then hopefully I could catch a bus again. that will take me at least relatively close to our shelter. I'm hoping that's what happens. So let's go to the library for a dollar. I just, you know, I hope, maybe I could find it myself. Huh, this is what the library looks like. Okay, it says library. Laundry there as well. Take shelter and study, good hygiene required. I'm at 66, is that a problem? What do you mean library card? There's nothing like escaping into a good book. The library is quiet and empty today, gaining one extra study when studying. Oh, yo, perfect. <sighs> right now we're at two? Jeez. We have brain rotted pretty quickly, haven't we? Two hours, huh? Make it happen. Okay. And we got the extra, so we're up to a five again. Oh, we could only do it once. Oh, it's another one. What's that supposed to mean? Could I not do it again? Sorry, you need a library card to stay here any longer. Oh, so you could only study once and you need a library card. How do I get this? You need an address. Mm. Stay at the same shelter five days in a row. Okay. So we don't necessarily have to rent a place out. We just gotta make that place uh, that shelter gonna stay at a residency, and then we could definitely do it. Okay, okay, it's not too bad. Now, let's see if I could maybe, just maybe, find find our shelter from here, just so at least I know where it's at, and not necessarily have to take the bus every single time whenever I need to take care of this brain rod. Right? We're also getting a little bit hungry now. Begging here. Help there change thank you gotta eat some food gotta eat some food sandwich at 56 do it so i ran into another library just now which leads me to believe that if this is this, this library right there we're going way the opposite location <gasps> 
Is it a second? No, 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 no. I know time's ticking down. We can make it back by 830. Right, number one, I gotta sell my stuff. There's a library right there, like literally under an hour in this game's terminology from walking from the shelter to the library. Then why the hell did the bus send me to like a another city and county altogether? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yo. All right. Rummager. Small chance of finding additional change when searching trash. Reduced chance of illness when food from the trash. Yes, then we can definitely eat more of it. Found food in the trash restores more hunger. I mean, if we don't get sick, then we won't have the fast reduction of food. So I think this trumps that. Okay. Um, I'm going to that shelter right now. Right now. Things are going pretty good. Finally, let's not, um, you know, let's not risk it. Like tomorrow? Cop here just waiting. Look at this guy. Please, come on. Please beg somebody. Beg at them so I can kidnap you again. Homeless man. Or homeless woman. Adult learning. Take a free study class if you rest here. Yo! And it's going to help out with our brain run. Let's go. Good event, perhaps? Or bad one because we chose that perk. It's been a hard... It's been hard today. It's tough to think that things could be like this for a really long time. No one is going to save you. And no one's going to care. With a lot in your mind and anxiety in your heart, it's hard to rest. Eventually, you cry yourself to sleep. I've been doing that every single night recently. It's, it's actually very depressing. I can see why there's any depressed. Oh, good. Winner's here. All right. Let's just freeze to death now. Huh? Oh, yep. That's just going to happen. Other homeless will help you more often. I've already been giving them change whenever I can. Gain happiness when you sleep indoors, but slightly increased chance of being mugged. Pass in the night, take less food. I, mean, I gotta go community. It's the one with the less impact with a negative thing, right? And this one, as long as I, I mean, I'm not gonna be sleeping out here in the winter, so. There it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, we are out of time, though, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. This has been a little bit of a, just a return to change, and so far I'm digging it. I am absolutely digging it. There's a lot of things that we haven't checked out just yet. But there's so many. We have a melody? When did I pick this up? Dirty clothes. Your clothes are worn and filthy. Hygiene is capped at 50. So we gotta go to the laundry and definitely do a laundry now, don't we? But yeah, as you can see, a bunch of new NPCs, a bunch of new buildings out there, street vendors, things like maladies over here. So they've added a bunch of things since I last played it. If you guys enjoyed it, would like to see more of it, you know what to do, let me know in the comments by leaving a thumbs up. It lets me know you guys want to see some more. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide, but pretty good. I definitely am liking all the new stuff I've seen thus far. I'll catch you guys next time.